Every time I put my pencil on a piece of paper to draw something, I know before which technology I will use. And if I design a chair which will be injected, of course it will be mold. So you have to demold the object. And this big constraint is already giving a shape to the object. But with rapid prototyping, you are totally free. There is no mold anymore. I was so used to design things with a technology I understood. And this time, no. Total freedom. Incredible freedom. I was very excited. And in three months, with the team of designer at the studio, we have designed and produced two chairs, a table, and a stool. The distance in between the creation, the drawing, and the final object was very short. It was like a sketch which is coming alive and taking shape in 3D. I know that every time in uh, history of design there is a new technology, there is always a new aesthetic. And uh, so that's why I was so excited to try to play with this uh, new technology. You have two different technology using laser beam, which is solidifying a material. But or you use the liquid resin. So this is the C2 chair. It's made like this. Layers and layers of resin. It allows us to make bigger objects. The C2 chair is transparent, but doesn't like the UV of the light. Okay, so that's why it's painted. But it's um, a material which has no resilience. It's uh, very, very hard, but it also can break. So we have to, it's uh, hard and fragile at the same time, which it's a part of the beauty also of this uh, material. And now I'm using other technique of uh, laser sintering. We are working with uh, bronze. We are working with wax. There are so many um, uh, aspects undercover yet. And it's a new uh, way to think how an object can be made. Imagine, first, you don't care about molding. And it can be one object or many. It's the same. It's a file. This file, you can send it in another country, just by internet. So the machine can be everywhere. So you can print an object everywhere. It will uh, definitely, I'm, I'm pretty sure, change how objects are th thought and how they are produced in the future.